Hey, my name is Sid. I'm a electronic systems engineering student at SFU Surrey. This is the final project we've made for the course called Mechatronics Design 2. The course was split up in four parts where we did a project which involved mechanical, electrical, control, and integration of all these parts. So for the first part, we were given a bunch of brass rods and we had to design an arm. So the goal of this project was to make a pick-and-place robot which would go start from one point, go somewhere else, pick up an object, and drop it off at a desired location. The first part of the project was to make the arm itself. We decided to go with a mechanical truss design and the goal was to reduce the moment of inertia as well as make sure the deflection of the truss in the vertical direction is not too much. We modeled the truss in SOLIDWORKS and studied its deflections by doing FEA on it and once we decided once we decided on a design, we fabricated it by soldering the joints and cutting the brass rods. For the second part of the course, we had to build a circuit to drive the DC motor that would be controlling the magnet, sorry, the arm. And for that, to control the DC motor as well as the electromagnet. For the motor, we used an H-bridge. So what an H-bridge does, it allows the motor to be controlled by a PWM signal, but directionally. We used opto-isolators opto to prevent, to, to have electrical isolation between the computer and the power source, which is driving the motor. Since the motor runs at 12 volts and the computer cannot provide that voltage and current. To drive the electromagnet, we had optocouplers combined with a MOSFET. Since the electromagnet needed 12 volts as well, but it was driven with the 5 volt PWM signal generated by the computer and the DAC system we used. We used a DAC system along with Simulink to interface between the computer and the DC motor and the electromagnet. So once the electrical part is complete, we designed the system on Simulink to, per to perform, a to make a control system and to simulate the project. To, it was done to see if we can estimate the PID control values that you would need. And then once we had a pro uh, control system ready for that, we integrated the three parts of the project together to make this system. So I'm just going to do a small demonstration of the system. The arm will swing to a position, grab the puck, and release it at a particular location. The goal of the project was to do this in the quickest time possible. So once the object drops, the control of the circuits all turn off to make sure there's no power going to the circuit. And this plot over here shows that we reached 180 degrees quite precisely in a quick time. And then the system set to the final position quite accurately as well in just 1.55 seconds. Thanks for watching.